Hey, it's Mega Robert from Mega Robert TV. And as most Dragon Ball fans know, um, Dragon Ball Z has only had one sequel, and that sequel was Dragon Ball GT. And a lot of people weren't really satisfied with the sequel. They thought that it, the, the creators could have done a way better job with it. But right now, I'm not going to review Dragon Ball GT because I already reviewed it on my channel. Check out my uploads. Try to find it. What I'm going to talk about in this video is how most people themselves have took it upon themselves to try to create a sequel to Dragon Ball GT. If you've gone through a lot of Dragon Ball videos on YouTube, you will eventually run into a video titled Dragon Ball AF, Dragon Ball Afterlife, Dragon Ball the sequel, I don't know. Things like that. And what it is, it's people trying themselves to continue the story. Uh, people have created Super Saiyan 5, Super Saiyan 6, Super Saiyan 7, and even though these videos, some of them are well made and stuff, the stories are a little exaggerated and things. Um, they, they're not realistic and in itself, Dragon Ball GT wasn't really realistic, but it still, it stayed in a spot where you could believe some of the things that happened. But these, these um, sequels that people are making, they're, they're not very realistic, but um, maybe about a week ago, I found a video on YouTube titled Dragon Ball Absalon. And at first, I thought it was just going to be like all those other sequels that were poorly made and stuff. But going through it, what I found out was that this was really, really well made. If you don't know what it is, I definitely suggest that you check it out. It's, it's very good. What the story is about is that it basically takes place 12 years later after the end of Dragon Ball GT. And it definitely has thrown in a lot of new elements that weren't in the original Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, or Dragon Ball GT. Now, uh, one of the most controversial changes that Dragon Ball Absalon has made is that 12 years after Dragon Ball GT, uh, they made it so Pan has uh, married Oob and they have about three children, I think. And a lot of fans kind of got angry about this, but... If anything, if I thought that was probably one of the best parts, it, it really added something that you didn't expect. But it wasn't so unrealistic that it, it was just dumb. It, it was a good idea. And uh, the theme song is really good. I don't know if it's original or if it's from another soundtrack, but it's really good. And another thing that... I thought was cool is that Dragon Ball Absalon, um, like a lot of sequels people are trying to make, includes Super Saiyan 5 and uh, a Super Saiyan 6 maybe? Uh, I'm not sure because only one episode has been released, but so far the series looks really good right now. As you can see behind me, I've uh, used clips from the show to uh, demonstrate the animation. And what I have to say about the animation is that it's it's really, really good. I mean, you could see that it flows perfectly, um, that, that there's no really mistakes, that it doesn't look very cartoony. It still looks like an anime. It still looks like Dragon Ball. Uh, you just, you'd have to watch it to completely understand. It's really hard to review something like this that you just have to really go and listen to it and see it and just take it in for yourself. And that's just what I have to say. Go check out his video, um, subscribe to his channel, I have. Definitely support him because what I think he's doing is really good. He's definitely bringing Dragon Ball back in a good way, a great way. So, and uh, while you're subscribing to him, uh, don't forget to subscribe to me too, uh, comment, rate, you know, uh, d don't forget all that stuff. So I'll be back on another video to review the second episode and the third episode. So I'll see you then, okay? This is Mega Robert signing off.